But mom, weed is no big deal. That is one thing some parents are bracing for. Now the Trudeau government is one step closer to legalizing marijuana. So how do parents tackle the subject of pot with their kids? Well, according to one parenting expert, start early. The message is always to talk to your children and help them learn not what to think, but how to think. So when you're talking about issues such as marijuana, alcohol, um, sex, anything that are kind of taboo topics, I think my, my stance as a parent and as a parent educator is always to have very open, frank discussions and to teach your children about the consequences of using anything. So rather than telling your children you cannot use, and especially now if your children are, are over around the age of 18, you're not going to be use, able to use the heavy arm of the law to back you up. You're going to have to talk to them about other things. And so I think the, the long-term goal in my mind would not be to say you cannot use and this is why, but my preference would be that you not use until a certain age, or my preference would be that you really explore this before you use. So as a parent of a teenager, should parents bring up some, some of the things that you just talked about in terms of like marijuana's effect on the growing brain. Right. So I think it's really important as parents to uh, not come in full force with your teenager and tell them this is what's going to do and blah 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 and the teenager is completely tuned out. I think it's much more important to lead into this. So already at about the great age of grade seven or eight even because some some kids are trying it in around grade eight, you start to bring up things. You watch a documentary together. You read a book, you know, which is a novel about somebody who's overused. What about the kid that comes to you and say, but mom, it's just weed. It's not that bad. Well, the reality is that weed is probably the most benign of all the drugs out there. And so when your child says it's just weed, you have to understand that that's part of the culture and the environment that we are living in. So I think to invite conversation and to try to listen to your child as if they're not your child so you don't have the same kind of emotional reaction is the best way to manage it. I'm Amanda Ferguson at CAMH. As the responsibility now falls on the province to set the minimum age for marijuana use in Ontario, one researcher is calling on to be no earlier than the age of 25, saying the effects of marijuana on the developing brain are still unclear. We don't know exactly what is the difference between uh, age 18, 19 or 25. So there, it's an area with still lots of uncertainties there. Uncertainty on the effect of cannabis on the young brain. Yet, according to researcher Bernard Lafol, what's not uncertain is how early kids are using it. What we see right now is uh, young kids that initiate consumption at age 12, 14, 15. Where research shows risk of addiction, lower motivation and performance in school is higher, especially for daily users, something the feds say they are trying to safeguard against. We want to make sure that, that people understand those potential risks associated with it, and, and that's one of the reasons why public education will be a big part of, our, our, uh, of the process by which we uh, introduce this legal access in a, in a restricted regime. As for how marijuana stacks up to other restricted goods like alcohol and cigarettes in terms of health impacts, experts say, well, it depends on how long you use it for. It seems right now that um, the immediate impact uh, of uh, cannabis uh, may be potentially lower than the, than the impact we have with alcohol. One takeaway from both the scientific and parenting community today is that they are applauding Ottawa for taking this step in legalizing marijuana in the first place. They say that if kids are going to be using it, it's best they know where they're getting it from in the first place. At Cam H, Amanda Ferguson, City News.